What's up guys, it's me coming back with another topic video. And this time it's actually going to be for one of the titles that I'm going to be writing for the site. Now you're wondering, okay, what's up with the picture, Steve? This is a picture, guys, of Sin City. Yes, I will be basing my team in Las Vegas, Nevada. So yeah, Vegas, I thought, nobody's doing really Vegas, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to put a, a team in Sin City. You know, and you'll find out why. And this team is called the Zeta Squadron. And the first member that I'm going to show to you guys of the Zeta Squadron is Captain Ultra. Now, Captain Ultra is a very interesting character, guys, because... He started out as a plumber. He gained superpowers. Um, he's very much a powerhouse character, guys. You know, he's got super strength. He can fly. He can do all these, you know, very cool things. Very Superman-esque kind of abilities and whatnot. Um, either that or he just has plain super strength that can fly. But either which way, he's a very underrated character, not just among comic fans but in the Marvel Universe itself he's considered kind of a joke character like a lot of people rag on him as a hero and he makes most of his living not only in the public but also he's a stand-up comedian um, so that's the angle that I'm playing for why he's in Vegas guys he's taking his stand-up comedy act to Vegas and so he's also gonna be one of the the publicly known you know heroes that first comes to Vegas um, and also in this team book he's gonna find a little bit of not redemption but I guess you could say appreciation and you know really step up and show that you know he is a legitimate hero and not a joke um, next character actually is Chin, you know Chinny yeah I know it sounds like Chinny or Jenny um, but Chinny was another interesting choice that I made. She's actually a mutant character, guys. Um, she originally was a character that debuted in the New Mutants. Um, but she's a very interesting mutant character because she has the ability of interdimensional travel. She can actually, She's a teleporter, guys. She actually has... Her teleportation abilities are so strong that, she, that it's almost like intergalactic, actually. She could, at a moment's notice, teleport people to, say, like, the surface of the moon or Mars if she really concentrated. So she's a very powerful teleporter. Um, but the main reason that she's going to be in Vegas, guys, is also because she's publicly known not just as a mutant, but she's actually a rock star. So that's another reason why I chose her for this team, not just to be the teleporter, um, but also, you know, she's gonna have a reason for being in Vegas, which is, you know, she's a rock star. So that's, that was another cool angle that I thought that I would do for a character. And I believe she's known actually galactic-wide as a rock star, if I remember reading correctly. Um, but you can research her in Captain Ultra, and here's another character that I know nobody's gonna know. Another great throwback, as Craig Simon likes to call these obscure characters. Um, and that is the Blue Shield. However, this is not going to be the original guys. In fact, the Blue Shield that I'm using is actually going to be the daughter of the original who you see in this picture here. Um, her name is, her nickname is Jan. It's actually Janice, but her nickname will be Jan. Um, and Jan is going to take up, you know, Daddy's mantle. She's going to actually become the Blue Shield of this team. Um, and she's going to be in Vegas being basically like, you know, a security guard. You know, she'll stand in for like the casinos and the luxury hotels and whatnot. Um, so she will have will be a character that has kind of like, you know, security or law enforcement experience. Um, and just like her daddy, basically, much like her father, um, she's go she'll have the ability, much like the name of the Blue Shield, basically she's going to have the ability, guys, to... She's going to have, you know, enhanced strength or super strength due to her abilities... But she's also going to be able to put, you know, force fields forward for herself. But a la, you know, taking reference from Sue Storm, she's going to up the ante from what her daddy used to do. Her daddy used to just be able to shield himself. She's going to be able to extend her shield-based powers to actually shield the entire team or create like a front wall of shielding or whatnot. You get the idea. 
Um, we move on to another character. And this one may throw you guys through a loop. Um, but yes, I'm actually going to add a fourth Camistro to the Marvel Universe. But this is going to be a heroic Camistro. And on top of that, this Camistro is actually going to be the younger brother of one of my characters from X Factor, um, which is the character of Reactor from my, my X Factor team, which you know, you'll know you see next after this video. Um, and this character actually is going, his last name is Benjamin. Um, and he's gonna be a CSI guy. So he's gonna actually be a crime scene investigator. Um, so he'll be working with, you know, the Las Vegas PD and whatnot. So I thought that that was kind of cool. Um, I'm looking for his name right now. Jordan. There we go. Jordan Benjamin. Um, Jordan, ben you know, so Jordan Benjamin is going to be the brother of Tyrone Benjamin, you know, a.k.a. Reactor, who you'll see in my X Factor video that will come next. But yeah, Jordan's going to be a CSI and he's going to become... The, I guess you could say the newest Camistro, but he's actually going to be a heroic Camistro, and he's not going to have mutant abilities unlike his older brother. He's actually going to be a regular human, but he'll be, you know, a little bit of an engineering whiz. So, you know, it, it'll be fun to write that, you know, dynamic. Um, another really classic character that I'm going to be adding is the Arabian Knight. However, the original died, guys. He actually had his life energies drained from him, and I'm taking the route of Mr. Terrific with the Arabian Knight and the fact that the Arabian Knight that I choose is going to be a guy that's at least in his early to mid-20s, um, very young, and that he is in fact actually going to be, you know, Indian or Saudi Arabian, and that this Arabian Knight is actually going to be a stage performer in Vegas, guys. He's actually going to be, you know, kind of like Siegfried and Roy and, you know, David Blaine and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, he's going to be, you know, like, uh, he's going to basically be, do a little bit of everything. You know, he'll be a general stage performer in Vegas. Um, and much like the original Arabian Night, he will have a flying carpet and it's not going to be in a rate and that's not a racist amalgam. He's also going to have the same, you know, scimitar that the original had. He's actually going to inherit it. Um, and he's not going to be related to the original. It's, like I said, the Michael Holt, Mr. Terrific deal. He's actually going to be a new Indian or Arab character that's going to take the mantle of Arabian Knight. So hopefully you guys will actually look forward to that. Um, and I saved the best for last, which is the leader. And no, guys, it's not going to actually be John Walker. John Walker's crippled, and he's also the he's also looking over the vault, and he's the warden of the vault, and all that stuff. You know where the Thunderbolt, where the recruits for the Thunderbolts initiative and everything were. Um, this is ag the new U.S. agent that I'm actually going to bring to the site. Is going to be his oldest niece, you know, Kim, you know, Kimberly or Kim Walker. Um, so she's actually going to inherit the man. So she's actually going to inherit and take over the mantle of U.S. agent from her uncle. Um, so she's going to be leading the Zeta squadron, you know, my Zeta squadron team that's going to be based in Vegas. And Kim's, you know, reason why she's there is that she's, using her cover as a philanthropist to actually fund the team. So she's not just the leader, she's also the main like funder of the team as well because she does a lot of philanthropy and you know social events and stuff like that, charitable donations. Um so not just helping, you know, doing actual charity work, but also she'll be taking some of those funds untraceably and actually fund the team. So this is it, guys. This is Zeta Squadron. This is going to be the team based in Las Vegas that I'm going to be writing for the site. Hopefully you guys enjoy the roster and stay tuned for the X-Factor.